Hello friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we are going to solve one very, very interesting and challenging question from exponential equations, which we are going to solve for the real values of x. So let me write here, x belongs to real number. So let's get started by considering our base x square minus 9x plus 19 equal to a suppose and our power or exponent x square plus x minus 56 equal to b. So we have a power b equal to one form. In LHS we have a power b. So there are three cases where we are getting a power b equal to one. If I will write all the cases, case one where base is equal to one and power should be real number we are going to get RHS 1. If we'll take example, 1 power 50, always equal to 1, 50 is real number. Case 2, when our power or exponent equal to 0, at the same time, A should not be 0. Otherwise, we will get indeterminate form. So here also we are going to get RHS 1. Example, if we will write then 50 power 0 is equal to 1. Case 3, here our base is negative 1 with power E1. We are going to get RHS 1. So if I will write example minus 1 raised to the power 50, this would be always equal to 1. Let us deal our equation under these three cases. I will write here case 1. So this is our A and here we have B. Case 1 was base is equal to 1 with B should be real number. We will cross check at last once we will solve A equal to 1. So I will write here x square minus 9x plus 19 equal to 1. Subtract 1 from both the sides. RHS would be 0. We will get quadratic equation x square minus 9x plus 18 equal to 0. Now we will factor LHS. So we can split minus 9x as minus 3x minus 6x then we have plus 18 equal to 0. Now from first two terms x is common we will get x minus 3 in the bracket. From last two terms minus 6 is common we are going to get x minus 3 in the bracket RHS equal to 0. So we have x minus 3 overall common times x minus 6 equal to 0. Now we will apply product 0 rule and we can write either x minus 3 equal to 0 or x minus 6 equal to 0. So we will get x equal to 3 from first equation and x equal to 6 from second equation. Now we have to make sure b should be real for these x values. So we are going to calculate b3 and b6. It should be real number. So b is here x square plus x minus 56. So we will write b3 equal to 3 square plus 3 minus 56 will be equal to 9 plus 3 minus 56 value will be equal to 12 minus 56 so we are going to get minus 44 and minus 44 is real number so our solution x equal to 3 is true now we have to check b6 i will write here 6 square plus 6 minus 56 value will be equal to 36 plus 6 minus 56. This is 56. 
36 plus 6 is 42 minus 56. We will write here minus 14. And minus 14 is also one real number. So our solutions x equal to 3 and 6 both are true. So we will write here both solutions are true. Now we will consider our case 2. Case 2 is our power is 0, b equal to 0, but make sure a cannot be. Otherwise, we will get indeterminate solutions. So, b equal to 0, I will write here x square plus x minus 56 equal to 0. Now, we can factor 56 as 7 times 8. So, we will write our middle term. Let me write here x square plus x minus 56 equal to 0. We will split middle term as 8x minus 7x. So, 8x minus 7x is x and product of both will give us minus 56x square which is matching equal to 0. Now, from first two terms we can take x common. In the bracket we will write x plus 8. From last two, we will take minus 7 common. We will get x plus 8 in the bracket equal to 0. So, our factors are x plus 8 and x minus 7 equal to 0. Using product 0 rule, we can write either x plus 8 equal to 0 or x minus 7 equal to 0. So, from first equation, we are going to get negative 8 and from second equation, we will get 7. Now, we have to check A should not be 0. This is our A. So, I will calculate A of minus 8 and then we will calculate A of 7. So, A of minus 8, we will write here minus 8 is square minus 9 times minus 8 plus 19. Value will be equal to 64 plus 72 plus 19. It is not going to 0. We are not going to add but it is not equal to 0. Now we will calculate a of 7. We will write 7 square minus 9 times 7 plus 19. So, we will be writing 49 minus 63 plus 19. 49 plus 19 is 68 minus 63. Value is coming out 5 which is non-zero. So, our solutions 7 and negative 8 are true solutions. Now we will consider our case 3. I will write here case number 3. Here our base, base should be negative 1. At the same time, B should be even. So we will calculate first of all the values of x from the equation A equal to negative 1. So let me write here x square minus 9x plus 19 equal to negative 1. We'll add 1 to both sides. So, minus 1 plus 1 will give us 0 in RHS and in LHS we will write x square minus 9x plus 20 equal to 0. Now, we have to factor 20 4 times 5. So, we can write here 4 times 5. If we will add both, we will get 9. So, splitting of minus 9x in this case, we will write minus 4x minus 5x plus 20 equal to 0. Again, we will take x common from first two terms. We will get x minus 4 in the bracket. From last two terms, we will take minus 5 common. We will get the same bracket x minus 4 equal to 0. Now, x minus 4 is overall common. We will get x minus 5 in the other bracket equal to 0. Now, using product 0 rule, 
we can write x will be equal to 4, x will be equal to 5. Now we have to check power should be E1. So we will calculate B of 4. This is B. X square plus X minus 56. And we will calculate B of 5. Both should come out E1 number. Then only we are going to accept X equal to 4 and X equal to 5. So B4 would be. We will write 4 is square plus 4 minus 56. 4 square is 16 plus 4, 20 minus 56. Value will be equal to negative 36, which is negative even number. Value is accepted. Solution x equal to 4 is accepted. Now we are going to calculate b5. So I will write here value of b5. Here we have b. So I will write here 5 is square plus 5 minus 56. This will be equal to 25 plus 5 minus 56. We will write here 30 minus 56. Value will be equal to negative 26, which is negative V1 number. So we are going to accept x equal to 5 also. So our solution in case 3, x equal to 4, x equal to 5. Both solutions are true solutions. Now I will sum up case 1. We had solution x equal to 3, x equal to 6. Case 2, we had solution x equal to 7, x equal to negative 8. And from this case, case 3, we are getting x equal to 4, x equal to 5. So if I will write all the solutions, I will write here x equal to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and negative 8. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye-bye.